ladies and gentlemen, I reckon this series might be over. It might be over. I have come to the conclusion that this series is over. Boston shot, what, what was it, like 6 for 23, some ridiculous number from three. And still won. Usually, an issue like that, probably close to 30%, 27% from three, usually they lose. But not in game two. And not for the efforts of Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday, for most of this game, was everywhere. Doing the little things that mattered. The hustle plays. That mattered. Jason Tatum, on the other hand, he ain't having a good second finals. But he doesn't really need to. Not when you had Drew Holiday there. Not when you had Derek White there. I used to say Celtic success came down to their two. But since the accusation of Drew Holiday, not no more, it won't be. Um, Yeah, I, I think the series is over. Kyrie, I, I don't know what's going on with him. People are saying that the crowd is bothering him, but I don't think it is. He lost his team at home in Dallas, so that can't be the issue of the crowd bothering him. The only thing you can say that's bothering him is getting into his head too much. He's too, doing too much... Um, he just he ain't showing no aggression out there. He's not showing no aggression out there from what I see. Who is it? He's just I don't I I don't know if he's trying to be coping in his head. I don't know. He needs to drive to the basketball still take, taking all these shots, all these turnaround jumpers. He ain't six foot six like Kobe. He's six foot two. So they got to do with a different strategy. The thing about Boston you know, uh tall and Langley, but they ain't. A, um, they're not very athletic, with the exception of two people, probably, or a couple players. Um, we need to go to the basket more. But their main problem is it's not so much Kyrie as well. He needs to step up. Uh, I think at halftime, he had 10 points. I think it's 10 points at halftime. Um, better than what he did game one. With game two, I mean, this game, I thought he was going to go off, but. He just, I don't know, in the second half. Um, the Mavericks did keep this game pretty much close for, for the entirety of the game. They just couldn't hit any shots because they couldn't get any shots. And I had to agree with Ticket on this one. Um, and I'm starting to see it a lot. Jason Kidd is still playing that same damn lineup he had with Minnesota. It ain't working no more. Uh, Jason Kidd, I had to adjust in game three and um yeah tim hardaway jr needs to come off uh, and play but i heard also maybe the reason why jason kidd ain't playing because i always forgot about this my jason kidd video the jason grid kid does tend to hold grudges towards some players which he did with christian wood the year before and did not play him um I heard that Tim Hardaway Sr. was going in on Luca, making fun of Luca. Maybe Jason Kidd took uh, offense today and he's punishing Hardaway Jr. Who knows? But he needs to play on Hardaway Jr. Can't shoot. Um, we ain't going to see here act like he can't shoot. Let me see right quick. See right quick. I also want to make another observation in a different video. And I might have said it in my, some of y'all might have seen it in the community tab, but uh, it has to be said because somebody going to need to learn a lesson after this finals is over and he ain't playing right now. He's at home watching. Um, let's see, Tim Hardaway Jr. Hold on, hold on, bear with me right quick. I just want to put a fact out there to back me up. Let's 
Let's see here. I hate when I can't find stuff. But anyways, um, Tim Hardaway Jr. has not played since May 24th. Game two against Minnesota Timberwolves. All right, for this season, oh, it's not going to give me that. All right, after that, let's go to ESPN. Uh, for this season alone, Tim Hardaway is averaging 14 points, shooting 40% from the field. He's shooting uh, against Boston. He's a 54% shooter, but that's game two games played this season. Uh, for the regular season, the postseason, in 11 games this postseason, he shot 30% from the field. Regular season, he shot 35% from the field. Um, it's an all right shooter, but they need to put him in there because uh, Derek, was it Derek Jones Jr.? Ain't getting it done. P.J. Washington ain't getting it done. And yes, that was a foul towards the end of the game. With P.J. Washington tried to do that dunk. Um, he ain't getting it done. There's got to be some shakeups. They're they're sending too many double teams to Luca. Lucas is out there putting 30, but that ain't working. It's playing into the hands of the Boston Celtics. It is. Uh, so he needs to play him more. But we'll see what happens. Kyrie needs to step up. Uh, the role players are doing... What they're supposed to be doing. Daniel Gafford is out there doing what he's supposed to be doing. But some changes are going to be, need to be done offensively. Defensively, uh, they were better than what they was uh, in game one. For some reason, I don't understand why these, I don't know, teams try to double team some players and leaving people open when they know this team is a shooter, shooting ass team. But, uh, you gotta get credit to Drew Holiday. He really do, because Drew Holiday's really, for this season, has really stepped his game up. And it's very unfortunate that that has happened. But I'm gonna wait for another video to talk about that more. Because some things need to be said. Um What was I gonna say? They said Kyrie Irving lost eleven games straight to the Celtics. But I also heard a stat saying he lost 11 games straight since leaving the Celtics, which doesn't even sound right. I felt unless I misheard that on the uh, broadcast. Because I do recall Kyrie Irving did play in 2021, right? Against Boston in the first round. And they beat Boston in five games. So maybe I did hear that wrong. But anyways... That's what Dallas has to do. If Dallas doesn't do that, then it's officially over. In my mind, I think it's over. Crown the Boston Celtics. This is what the NBA wants. That's why all these people are dropping off like flies. Now, Luka's playing with an injury. I do have to get props for Luka playing through these injuries, though. But uh, this is what they wanted. They needed the Celtics to win. And all these other legendary teams uh, winning. And the Warriors winning. Lakers winning. <laughs> Spurs have won. You know, it hasn't been in 10 years for Spurs have won. And even the Bucks winning. Even the Nuggets getting down it. They needed the substance to win this one. Then again, I can't really say that because the Knicks haven't won in 50 years. So who knows? But anyways, uh, my in my opinion, I think the season, uh, series is over. So eventually, pretty soon, I have to make another meme of LeBron. With all the players that have won on his watch. But anyways, tell me what you guys think.